educational video. I am not responsible for any damage done on your end. Always read all instructions carefully. Safety is always top priority. Alright, I got my thermal paste in and I'm going to go ahead and unbox it I guess. Okie dokie. Use this knife. Let's see what's inside. And here it is. Six, seven bucks, seven bucks for this, and it's about ten bucks at Radio Shack. But this is from Amazon. It's way cheaper to order stuff online. Here it is. It's three point five grams. My focus. There we go. High density. All right, there goes the unboxing. And there should be nothing else in there that's empty. Alright. If you're like me and you didn't purchase ArctiClean, you can use isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, and if possible, use a 90% greater better just for safety measures. You will also need a lint free cloth like a coffee filter or q tips to clean off the older thermal paste. Look at this OEM crap Dell put on my Inspiron 1545. It's like dried compressed chalk. My sister's Dell Inspiron 1545 has this problem too. Just look at it. These three pictures were taken three months after I got this laptop. Now, back to cleaning the old thermal paste. Fortunately, I happened to find a two-in-one solution. You can use these Zeiss lens wipes. A pack of 50 will cost you around $3 in Walmart which is about four dollars cheaper than art to clean you can either find these Zeiss lens wipes at Walmart or inside of Walmart's vision center alright I'm gonna go ahead and open my favorite web browser mine happens to be Firefox click on that I'm gonna, it's gonna load on Google I'm gonna type in Arctic Silver hit enter here's the main website arcticsilver.com uh, it's a second link and then here's the main website on the fourth tab over you'll find instructions click on that and then choose the product you're trying to install in your processor and your heatsink mine is Arctic Silver 5 and then on the Intel platform click on that and then find your processor right here it's very very similar to um, AMD I happen to have a Pentium dual core processor but this is not the right one there's a catch you'll see my computer has two physical cores but one virtual core this dual core processor means like two virtual cores so I'm gonna go back and choose single core even though my computer is actually two physical core processor but it's one virtual core shown here but there's a catch all these right here all these methods are for desktop processors with IHS's or integrated heat spreaders you don't know what that is um, it's a metal cap on top of the processor my laptop doesn't have that so this is pretty much useless to me so I'm gonna go ahead and close that out and um, you have to spread the whole processor with um, the thermal compound alright Let's go ahead and get started.
Look at that, it's dried up. Focus here, come on. That should be better. Oh well, you get the point, it's dried up. Oh, it wants to focus after I put it away. Look at that stuff, it's dried up, it won't come off. Alright, put this right here. And then, look at this. To be honest, this heat pad, or thermal pad, is crap. But I'd, I'd rather be using this instead of this dried up shit. Go ahead and take this off. Ugh, this is going to be a while.
These are comparisons before and after applying Arctic Silver 5 in the following order before and after. The room temperature before Arctic Silver 5 was 71.7 degrees. The room temperature after Arctic Silver 5 was 69.7 degrees. So I'll be adding 2 degrees to every after value. The low, high, and idle temperatures are not accurate because I have no control over the fan speed. So just look at the raw data. 2 minutes of idle before Arctic Silver 5. The cores average 123 degrees. 2 minutes of idle after Arctic Silver 5. The cores average 121 degrees. But once again, the room temperature was 2, de two degrees cooler. So I'm going to add 2 degrees, so it's 123 degrees. So there's no change from before and after. Again, these are not accurate. The next one counts. This is one minute into HTML website, the wilderness downtown. Before, it averaged 128.5 degrees. This is the same website. Um, the cores average 116.5 degrees, but once again, add 2 degrees because of the room temperature difference. So it's 118.5, 10 degrees cooler. And this is 7 minutes of folding at home. The cores average 138 degrees, as you can see. This was with the viewer open, so it stressed out CPU and GPU. And this was 7 minutes after, and the cores average 125 degrees. Once again, add 2 degrees, so it's 127 degrees. That's 11 degrees cooler. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. This video is brought to you by PRT1667. He bought me this Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste as a gift. Check out his YouTube channel and subscribe.